I know there's a lot of you out there that are feeling disillusioned. You're wondering, why did I spend all those years in medical school and training? Why am I hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt? I hate this, I hate this profession. I don't feel like this is me. It's because you're in the wrong place. I have several friends, you know who you are out there, that you're very unhappy, you're just racing to get to retirement as fast as you can so you can get out of medicine. What I say to you is dig down deep into your heart and reclaim that dream you had from when you were a little kid and all you wanted to do was help people and serve people, serve your community and be part of the community in a respected way where you felt free. You can do it. If you're someone that's been wounded in such a deep way, I want to tell you the most important thing that I learned when I was in that exact position. is It's that you are not alone. There are people, many of us out there, that are looking for you. We're not waiting for you. We're looking for you. And if you just give us the slightest nod in our, in your, in, in our direction, we will come find you and we will help you heal. To those out there who are still in pain, there are options. The system is a lie. It's fed you a false dichotomy that essentially you can be miserable but successful or you can be destitute and happy. It's not, it's not true. It's not true. We are, we're divided, we're kept powerless, but there are those out there who want to help to help reform the system, to help you heal, to find something that is truly meaningful for you. It's out there, there are options. You're not alone. And remember that the modern medical system's unofficial motto right now is, the beatings will continue until morale improves. It's just that this is an abusive system and you can quit. <laughs> and take time off, find who you are. You can live your dream and that's all you need. I mean, screw the system. It's not meant to get people better. It's meant to maintain chronic disease states and make a lot of money. <laughs> so, there you go. What I would wanna tell medical students or physicians that are suicidal or just wanna quit medicine, um, I was there. We as healers tend to isolate ourselves and ignore the fact that there's a problem going on much, much wider than what we're just experiencing personally. If you are someone who is struggling, I would encourage you to think about the fact that taking a little time away is very healing. When you have the time, don't be afraid to take a break. Say, you know what, this isn't working for me right now and take the time away from healthcare to evaluate because there are lots of options available to you once you take the time and stand back but in that time find who you are because you are an awesome person and there is so much more to you than just that who you feel like when you're in this degrading system if you need to take some time off if you need to get rid of some of that ptsd that's been part of this profession our training that's completely fine but don't ignore that little voice inside you that still wants to do this, but in the way that serves your heart and is authentic to yourself. The transition that I've experienced from feeling exhausted and depleted and trapped and sad at work to feeling exhausted and depleted and angry at the system. And that's, that transition has really helped um, to give me the motivation I need to, to realize that, that there is a better way. I know you feel like you're entirely stuck. I know you think that there's no way out, but there is, there are other options. Um, and I really, really hope that you will look around and try to find them. Um, because I know when you've been told over and over that this is your only option, that becomes reality to you. Um, but it's not, it's not really real. There are other options, there are other ways, and you're not actually stuck. So um, please try to get yourself unstuck, please, and ask for help. Ask for help. We're, we're a profession that doesn't like to ask for help. And when you're reaching out, you actually are stronger for doing that. And I just want to, 
let you know that by reaching out, you're, you're empowering not only yourself, but um, you're empowering your patients and you're empowering your other colleagues. To anyone out there who is feeling trapped, depleted, exhausted, unhappy, my message to you is that there is a better way. We're all working so hard. We're such compassionate, intelligent people. Um, there's plenty of ways to pay off our debt and make money. We don't have to work for a system that uh, takes the majority off the top and works us until we're burnt out, um, uh, abusing ourselves. I know the stresses, I know the temptations or the necessity to turn to um, substances, to be depressed, to be anxious, and it, it doesn't have to be that way. If you're feeling that please take the time to, to step back um, because suicide is the next step with that and it, it's just, it's not worth it. And hearing from people's families that have lost medical providers, it's just, it's heartbreaking and it's such a tremendous loss to a society um, that needs healers. What's been the most amazing thing for me is the connection that I felt with my peers here and the joy that I have leaving here, the excitement I have, because I feel like being amongst these people that just want to serve from their heart has given me hope for my profession. There are, are people out there practicing medicine that are more caring and compassionate and creative and amazing and beautiful than I could ever have imagined. And that they, they love me and they love you and they love everybody and they just want to heal. If we can't take care of ourselves and each other, then we're not doing it right. So come join us, Pamela Weibel and all these people are so awesome. Uh, we'll always be here for you. All you have to do is contact us. I'm just joyful. I'm happy. I can't wait to get out there and start building my dream and reclaiming my dream from when I was three years old. And I feel like you can too. So have hope. You can get out of this. It doesn't matter the debt. Just think about how you can help the world in the way that you wanted to since you were a little kid. You can do this. I believe in you. And so does Pamela Weibel. That's why I'm here and I'm so glad I found her and all these awesome, amazing people. I love you guys so much. We know what it's like and we don't want to lose any more of our brothers and sisters in healthcare. And it's making us angry because this world needs us.